Hello Cancer, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have new love, and then we also have chemistry. Now for some of you, you could currently find yourself connecting with someone fairly new. Um, for others of you, this could be somebody that you're going to find yourself meeting at a later date. Um, with new love though, new love, it can represent a starting over energy uh, for me anyways as a reader. So we're going to see what it's more so leaning towards cancer, but we are going to focus on you first and we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does cancer currently view this relationship? For some of you, you could very well be moving. I am kind of getting that for some. For some of you, you could very well be moving. For some of you, you might even travel for work. But let's look at your person. How does this person currently view this relationship? We have the Ten of Swords, interesting, with the Magician. And then we have the Three of Wands. Oh, Cancer. Oh, Cancer. Whoever this person is, whoever this person is, they're very good at working with energy. Whoever this person is, Cancer, though, I feel like they're trying to call you back in, energetically speaking. It's like they're pulling on you, sort of speak. Yeah, I feel like this person is trying to manifest you back into their existence all over again. And you might even find yourself kind of feeling the pull here uh, from this person. Yeah, I feel like this person is trying to manifest you back into their reality all over again. Currently at the moment, I'm getting a lot of distance here between you and this person. There could even be a lack of communication currently at the moment. But yeah, whoever this person is, they're trying to reel you back in. They're trying to reel you back in. They're definitely trying to reel you back in. And for some of you, you might even feel the pull coming from this person. I feel like this person's really good at working with energy and manipulating energy. I feel like they're really good at that. Could be dealing with um, a Virgo, possibly a Gemini. It doesn't necessarily have to be the case. But you know what's interesting is that I feel like you're trying to move forward and move on with your life. And it's hard. It's definitely hard because I feel like this is somebody that you still have a very strong and intense emotional attachment to. But I feel like you're trying to move forward and move on with your life. But another reason why this entire process slash transition might be extremely difficult and challenging for you could have a lot to do with the fact that you got somebody over here that's pulling on you energetically speaking. Like I said, this is somebody who's really good at working with energy and manipulating energy. Okay, let's keep, the, okay, well, let's keep going. Let's see what else we can get here. How does this person currently feel? We have the emperor. This person feels really, um, how do I say this? They feel really out of place now that you're out of the picture, now that you're gone. It's like they're having um it's like they're having a very difficult time adjusting to life without you in it. So maybe maybe this person got used to having you around and now that you're not around it's like they're being forced to like adjust to life without you in it and it's it's hard. It's definitely hard. It's definitely hard. It's definitely hard. Hmm. Tell me more about the emperor. We have the King of Cups. We have the Justice card. Interesting. With the Nine of Cups. Deep down inside, though, I kind of feel like this person feels like you still, like you still want to be with them. So this person might honestly strongly feel like it's only a matter of time, Cancer, before you decide to resurface back up here for them. If I'm being completely honest with you. Currently at the moment, I don't see this one over here lifting a finger to try to bring this relationship back together all over again. I don't. I really don't. If anything, I feel like they're trying to focus more so on adjusting to life without you in it. But it's interesting because deep down inside, this person genuinely still feels like you still love them. You still want this. 
So I feel like they're trying their hardest to not really worry about everything that's currently transpiring here between you and them. Because even though it kind of looks like things came to an end here between you and them, I feel like they're trying not to worry about it because deep down inside, they kind of still feel like you still love them, you still want them, you still want this relationship. So they might feel like it's only a matter of time before you resurface back up here for them, okay? Um, not saying that you will, but that's just kind of how they're feeling. Yeah, it's like they're trying to not allow this ending to like get to them, to be completely honest. Even though I feel like at times it does definitely get to them, because I do kind of see them struggling, right? Just a little bit to adjust to life without you in it. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. How does Cancer currently feel? Okay. So we have the Three of Cups. We have the Death card. And then we also have the Hierophant. The bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. We have the High Priestess. We also have the Nine of Cups. And then we have the Temperance card with the Magician. Okay, Cancer. Whoever this person is, man, I swear to God. <laughs> like, I feel like this person's really good at working with energy, manipulating energy, attracting what it is that they want um, into their reality. I feel like they're really, really good at that. Um, now, keep in mind, all of this could be vice versa, where this could very well be you doing all of this. It doesn't have to be your person. We are working with energy, um, and this could totally resonate vice versa for some of you, but let's look at this we have the high priestess not the high priestess we have the hermit we have the justice card and then we have the ten of swords i kind of feel like cancer this is you kind of in a way forcing yourself to just accept the fact that it's over between you and this person it's time for you to move forward and move on with your life but here's the thing though here's the thing i kind of feel like even you kind of feel like it's not over just yet between the two of you okay um because it's interesting because I don't really see the two of you actually worried about this ending so in other words yes it might look like it's over but neither one of you actually feel like it is actually over and it has a lot to do with the simple fact that the both of you genuinely do believe that it's not over just yet between the two of you. It's almost in a sense where you're kind of, you know, feeling like it's only a matter of time before you guys get back together and they're kind of feeling the exact same way as well. So, yeah, I see you for the most part trying your hardest to move forward and move on with your life and just accept the fact that it's over between you and this person. But the fact that you feel so strongly that it's not over just yet and they kind of feel the exact same way as well is kind of making me feel like for one either one of you are concerned about this ending and well for two the, the two of you genuinely believe it's only a matter of time before you guys reconnect with one another all over again so then there's that i don't feel like neither one of you are actually choosing to let one another go I don't. I really don't. By the way, you guys are showing up um, as a true pair to one another. We do have the Hierophant, and now we have the High Priestess. You guys have a very strong and intense spiritual connection with one another. That's one thing that I will say. It's like the both of you know it's not over. I just don't feel like you guys are obviously communicating that to one another. I just kind of feel like you guys are just choosing to keep your distance from one another um, and just simply move forward and move on with your lives without one another in it knowing damn well it's not really over just yet between you and this person and the thing is is that the both of you can feel it which is kind of crazy which just goes to show like the intensity right of this connection that you guys share with one another you guys are very in tune with one another very in tune with one another what actions We have the Ace of Swords, we have the Ten of Cups, and then we also have the Sun. Okay, what actions will this person take? Hmm. We have the Four of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Swords, and then we also have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. We have the devil. We also have the hangman. And then we have the five of pentacles. I'm going to be completely honest with you. The person who's going to eventually cave in 
and bust a move here, it's going to be you. Um, and the reason why I say that um, is because of the overall energy that just came out here for this person. So I'm going to be completely honest, Cancer. I see you being the one to take action and bust a move in their direction. And it is coming from a place of you not necessarily wanting things to come to an end here between um, you and this person. You know what's kind of interesting too about the both of you is that I kind of feel like you guys portrayed this image like you guys were like perfectly fine without having one another in each other's lives. But let's be honest, I feel like it was really hard for you to adjust to life without them in it. And then the same applies for this person. And that could have a lot to do with the fact that, you know, maybe you guys spent many years with one another. You guys got so accustomed to having one another around, you know, uh, that could definitely be the case or the connection in itself. Like it meant a great deal to you and it meant a great deal to them. Regardless of whatever cause is ending here, between you and them y'all still want this let's just let's just call the thing a thing today cancer y'all still want this you guys still want to be with one another and you don't really want to continue to adjust to life without them in it because it doesn't feel right it doesn't feel right to you nor does it feel right to them so i do see you for the most part busting a move in their direction um and you know sparking a conversation with this person in regards to like what you truly want out of this situation and how you still feel about them. Because this one over here, huh, let me tell you. We have the Ace of Swords, we got the Seven of Swords, and we have the Four of Pentacles. This is like an overall energy of them wanting to extend themselves to you, but they're too damn busy being stubborn. Like they're harnessing this overall energy of no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to be the one to extend myself to cancer. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I mean, in a way, if you think about it, they, they would very well be self-sabotaging a good thing by choosing to not express themselves to you, by choosing to remain stubborn, by choosing to remain in their ego and their pride. They are basically being um, very deceptive by doing that because it's going against what they actually want out of this situation, right? Which is basically a coming back together with you because they're trying to manifest the hell out of you back into their for, into their fruition all over again. So they are technically in a way being deceptive um, and not being upfront and honest when it comes down to how they feel, what they still want with you. But that has a lot to do with the fact that they're just choosing to be stubborn right now. But with the devil, to the hangman, to the five of pentacles. It's almost in a sense, and I feel like that's something that the both of you are kind of feeling at this at the exact same time. It's almost in a sense where like, as time goes by, you guys are starting to kind of realize you guys don't really want to be without one another. And that's okay, and that's okay. But I just kind of feel like this one over here is really, really stubborn. They're really, really stubborn. They got a really big ego. They got a really big um, pride to the point where they're willing to just allow their ego and their pride to really call the shots here. But I don't think that it's officially hit them that by them allowing their ego and their pride to really call the shots here, it's causing them to get an outcome that they don't want, which is basically never seeing you again, never getting back you know, together with you again. Um, I kind of feel like the moment that you decide to extend yourself uh, to this person and express to this person how you feel it will instantly get this person out of their ego and out of their pride you kind of have to look at things from their perspective as well because they don't necessarily see you gravitating towards them and again like I said their ego and their pride is really calling the shots right now they're kind of responding in a very egotistical way like no screw cancer I'm not gonna be the one to call them I'm not gonna be the one to text them like it does have that feel to it but I feel like eventually it's going to hit them and eventually they're going to realize like, damn, like everything that I'm doing here is not really giving me the outcome that I want. You know what I mean? Like by them being stubborn, by them choosing to be deceptive here and go against the very thing that they actually do want in their life, which is you in this relationship with you all over again, it's causing them to ultimately get the outcome that they don't basically want. But I kind of feel like like I said, once you extend yourself to them, it's going to really push this person out of their ego and out of their pride. I just want to see what's going to end up happening next here uh, between you and this person. This person is very, um, they're very, very stubborn. Very, very stubborn. Anyways, I think we all kind of are a little bit. Uh, what's the outcome between Cancer and this person?
You guys are cute. You guys are really cute. You guys are really, really cute. We have the king and the queen of wands. We also have the emperor to the nine of wands. And we also have the four of wands to the four of swords to the six of wands. You know, I always say this about the king and the queen of wands. These two people, these two people have a very, very difficult time staying away from one another. A very difficult time staying away from one another. It has a lot to do with the fact that these two are very passionate about one another. It has a lot to do with the fact that these two love each other a lot. So it is very hard for these two to be without one another. I've always said that about the king and the queen of wands. But anyways, I kind of feel like the moment the two of you get back together, it's like this overwhelming feeling of feeling complete all over again, which I find it to be very sweet um, because I kind of feel like throughout this separation here, you guys felt extremely incomplete without one another like life just didn't feel the same without having one another around um it kind of felt like something was missing i kind of felt like something wasn't right um and keep in mind this is a mutual feeling that the both of you were experiencing the only the only way i see this relationship getting back on track to be completely honest with you cancer would basically require you to kind of bust a move in their direction because this one over here has way too much ego and way too much pride like they're too busy letting their ego and letting their pride call it shots right now and i feel like it does have a lot to do with the fact that they don't really see you making any sort of attempt in their direction so they're kind of harnessing this over energy of well why the hell would i they're not calling me they're not texting me so why should i be the one to text them they don't care about me you know what i mean like i just kind of feel like you guys portrayed this image during the separation like you guys are perfectly fine without one another and don't get me wrong, I feel like you guys can totally live without one another. I just don't feel like you guys want to, nor should you guys, right? Um, because it's pretty evident to me that the both of you still want this. So like I said, the moment you resurface back up here for them, I do see the two of you feeling complete all over again. Um, I do see this one over here getting out of their ego and out of their pride. But I do want to look at the nine of wands before we leave. Tell me more about the nine of wands. We have the King of Pentacles, we have the King of Swords, we also have the Seven of Cups, and then we also have the Empress. True pair situation again uh, between you and this person. This is not going to resonate for all of you, but through this separation, depending on how long you guys were obviously, I don't think that it really matters how long you guys were actually separated from one another now that I think about it. Somebody in this dynamic might be slightly worried that you could have been seeing other people through this separation or you could very well be worried that this person might have been seeing other people uh why you guys were basically separated from one another i am kind of getting that i am definitely getting that somebody could very well be worried um about that as far as like somebody you know dating other people through this uh separation is concerned but at the bottom of the deck we do have the queen of swords making it a true pair situation again here between you and this person let me look at the seven of cups <laughs> we got the knight of pentacles we got the uh three of pentacles and then we also have the uh knight of wands you know what's interesting also too um is that through this separation you may have had people taking a lot of interest in you. They may have had people taking a lot of interest um, in them. But I kind of feel like, you know, the two of you may have had a very difficult time seeing that connection, that relationship through. And it has a lot to do with the fact that, let's just call a thing a thing today. You guys belong together. You guys belong together. Okay? So... Even if there was somebody taking a lot of interest in you or this person had somebody taking a lot of interest in them, I just kind of feel like you probably weren't feeling it or they probably weren't feeling it. And it has a lot to do with the fact that there's nobody that in this world that's going to replace your person. There's nobody in this world that's going to replace you. And I feel like you guys know that all too well, okay? You guys are very crystal clear on what your heart wants. Now, keep in mind, we just clarified the Seven of Cups, okay? And now we have the Ace of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. This is like the true epitome of somebody who's very crystal clear on what their heart wants. And that goes both ways here, okay? Like, you can have a million people throwing themselves at you. They can have a million people throwing themselves at them. But... 
you guys are very crystal clear on what your heart wants. So even if, let's just say, let's just say, even if, because I, I kind of feel like somebody's worried that somebody could very well have been dating someone or seeing someone through the separation. Like, even if that was the case, I kind of feel like if it was you doing all of this, where you were dating people while, you know, you guys were separated from one another, I'm pretty sure, I can bet my last dollar on it, that you had a very difficult time resonating and connecting uh, with that person. And it has a lot to do with the fact that unknowingly, if you guys are both doing this as far as dating other people through the separation is concerned, unknowingly, you were trying to find what you once upon a time had with this person and someone else and you kind of failed at that same applies for this person they were trying to find you and what they once upon a time had with you and someone else and they failed at that which just goes back to show that nobody in this world is going to ever be able to replace you and no one in this world is ever going to be able to replace them it's just that simple okay y'all belong together okay um but yeah, I honestly, I really wouldn't be worried about it. I really wouldn't be worried about it because even if you were like going on a few dates during the separation, or even if they were, right? It's like you guys really weren't feeling it. You guys were really not connecting with these people. You guys just weren't. You guys weren't. I'm sorry. You guys just weren't. Um, you guys just weren't. And it has a lot to do with the simple fact that, well, I just kind of feel like the both of you have a very special and unique and rare connection that's very hard to find. It's very hard to find. It's very hard to find and I feel like that's something that you guys know all too well. All right, so that's what I have for you, Cancer. Hopefully the reading helped, hopefully it resonated. Also too, for those of you who wanna follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below and I will see you guys in your next reading, bye.